me. My pants. It snored all night. It was I know. I heard it. You heard me over there? Yeah. I was like, what was that noise? Did you hear the gunshots this morning? I'm missing Yeah, the gunshots this morning. Jay just keeps thinking he hears yotes. I really did hear yotes this morning. Uh-huh. <laughs> I thought they were loons. Jay thinks think everything's a yote. <laughs> we're listening to the radio. He's like, I think that's a yote. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a yote? Good morning. <laughs> hey everybody, Hi. it's morning. Yes it is. It's morning. There's the sun over there this time. Yeah, the sun's up and we're up. And look what, well, Tim, what did you just do? Uh, did I you just go came, potty? I just came out of the woods. <laughs> How's the the facilities? Usable. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't want it's to be in cramped. there. I wouldn't want to be in there in the summer. But right now it ain't too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, good to know, good to know. I just like, I just held the door open. <laughs> So I snored, and Neil's mad at me. <laughs> yeah, you probably didn't sleep at all. Well, you were probably just far enough away. It wasn't super loud. Uh, hey, look, a bear bag that's hanging in the air about bear height. <laughs> that would have been a good one to have on film. <laughs> well, I guess that's. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait for my water to boil first. I think. Coffee I'm kind of upset. I didn't get that on camera. <laughs> you throw a coffee pot in there. It lights on fire. <laughs> Dude, it boiled Tron's coffee right on fire. <laughs> and it, it burnt. It burnt through the filter. <laughs> You're terrible at making coffee. You're terrible at life. <laughs> what are you eating for breakfast? Just a salami wrap. Uh, just like, oh, you peasant. <laughs> yeah, it's, Kern's got the Boilatron on. You can't hear nothing. It's like a jet engine around here. How many times are you going to boil that? Be quiet. I'm boiling water. <laughs> I'm going to ruin it. I just sleep with Sir Snores a lot over here. Oh, I, I can't hear nothing because Kern's Boilatron's been going for a half hour. You know what I'm doing, Eddie? Boiling I'm stuff. I'm boiling water. And I can't hear anything. Boiling the water. <laughs> Jeez, is like so quiet. Woo, and we're off. Anybody know what time it is? And wow, we got a late start today. It's 10 o'clock. I got out of bed at 8. And it is 10. It took us two hours because we're all slow. But that's okay. We're not in a rush today. Wow, it's really shallow here. All the way down to the point. Oh. So we got to uh, the Floodwood Outpost yesterday about 1.30. We launched at two. We did about four, four and a half miles. And we ended up camping in Fallensby. Amped at this campsite. This campsite. So we're making our way around the point here. We're going to go up, up to up by Pillowog. We have a 191 portage and 1158 portage and we're on our way up into Hull. Is 
this our corn hodge? I don't know. There's, I'm looking for the two of them. I see some, a square thing up on that's, a tree up there. That's a portage. That should be the the, the smaller one. Let me see that should be the one. right one. We're coming up to a portage. Uh, there's two pretty close to each other. We want to make sure we take the right one. So we're just driving up and taking a look. The colors are so nice, though. Look at this. Look at this. Wow, that tree looks awesome. Don't do this, J Mo. I don't know if you get the bags in the canoe up there and then try to figure that out. That's nice. We're up and we're gone. We're on our way to, oh man, I don't remember the name of it. Palawag? Palawag. What's up, He-Man? Nothing, bro. Thanks, man. No, no problem. Where's everybody? Did you see me come through? Yeah, I got down here. I'm like, where is everybody? Where's their bags? They all dropped it right. You walked right past us. I, I couldn't can't. see. My head's in this. I can't see mine. Yeah. Those capris in action. Those capris in That's action. That's what gives me all the power. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> you blow your back out right there from the reach. Yeah. It's gone. What's that last step? It's a doozy. You should have taken that big rock out of the back before you did that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wouldn't get too comfy. Oh, we got another one? Yeah, 1,200 in like a foot. <laughs> so. Are we just crossing this one and then? Yeah. The portage from Fallensby to Palawag is done. 191 meters. And we're on our way to the next one from Palawag to Hull. So what's heavy? Your bag is and that heavy. is 1,158. 1,158 meters. You see the portage up there? Yeah. yeah.
Thanks, man. Yup. Appreciate it. Yup, because that was far. 1,158 meters. This is saying 0.7195. Okay, so three quarters of a mile. Okay. Okay, that's cool. And I single carried it. It, it was heavy. I, the flat wasn't bad. It was like the yeah. whoop de doos was, was yeah, killing eight, me. 1852 in one mile. Okay. Well, we single carried, me and you, single carried three quarters of a mile in about a half hour. I don't even think it was a half hour. It didn't no. feel like a half hour. No. I'd say Probably we're going to have to time minutes. the next one, but I'd say 15 or 20 minutes because we just. We just hoofed it, and I walked walking pace. Yeah. And it's nice not having to go back. Real nice not having to go back. Yeah. Because you'd have to walk that all again, and then, and then all, all again. again. Do we have another um, portage today? Mm-hmm. Uh, so we just came from, we went through Fallens Bay. This is where we went through, we fished. We did that 191. And then we went right over to those campsites that the guy was fishing, and that's the 1158 that we just did. So we're right here right now. So we gotta go left that way. I'm gonna show over there. We're gonna go out that way. And come up through here. And we're going up into Turtle. It doesn't look like there's a portage there. So we're here. So we're going up into Turtle, into Slang, and we have a, yeah, we have a 351 today. One, we're gonna camp somewhere here. So the, the last two we have is a 351, which is today, and then tomorrow before we leave, we're gonna be doing a 1373. So we're either gonna camp here or here. And I, I don't care which, to be honest with you. Some fish in these like, ripples in the sand. Yeah, that's the fish. Yeah, that's the fish. Rain's here. It rains there, or here, or somewhere. It's everywhere right now. Well, if we didn't have to wait so long for Tim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would have been where we were going. Hey, look, a loon. Yo, what noise did I make? Hoo -hoo! <laughs> You gotta watch tool. it. You gotta watch it. Your boots. Yeah, yeah. Stay that way. It gets shallow there. It's deep here. Right. I got your ball. Just do what you gotta do. You okay? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I'm good here. Aye. 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 Thank you, sir. Come over. Cool. Take this. Stay this way, yo. That was a lot better than carrying. Don't mind saying. I got a poo in my shoes. Yep. I got poo shoes on. There's tons of stuff in my shoes. Brought both bags. I was supposed to tell you that when I came out. You got like all. I just put them down. I can't. Now you know. you know you could single carry everything. You take the canoe. She carries the bags. Done. <laughs> Hey, look, your wife's a beast. <laughs>
What'd you say? You're, I'm lucky that what? <laughs> All right, so we're going up the hill to check out the train tracks. Just so everybody knows, this is this is the official Kern cam now. Ed made the mistake of actually giving me his camera. We feed Dave here in his natural element. Blue coat. Blue coat. All right, we're just checking out the old train tracks. It's pretty awesome looking. Definitely not uh, recently used. Yeah, used very heavily. Clearly. They look like they're crossed heavily though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> holy cow. Very cool stuff though. So we just came from that side. We made it underneath the culvert pipe, which was so much nicer than carrying. And there we are, heading out that direction. I wonder if Ed will let me use his camera again. Probably not. Rainy. Why does everything we do it makes it rain? I can't figure that out. I try to figure that out. I just can't. Like I'll be home for weeks at a time and <laughs> no, it doesn't rain. No rain. Not this year. We do oh, I don't know if we're making it through here. I see people have to walk to a spot like this. Right here. We're portaging from Slang to Long Pond. 350 meters. The trip is is good. We're only out for a few days. It's a bit of a short trip for how long of a drive. About six hours. We're only out doing two nights. But it's good. I'm definitely getting sick. I can feel I have earaches. And my throat doesn't feel good. That makes me happy. Uh, this place is cool. I think I'd come back here and do a bigger trip. A little farther. Deeper, away from people. Oh, but it's nice. Decent amount of wood at the campsites. Nothing's like really picked over real bad. The portage is nice and easy. On your right! I counted about 300 steps. Okay. So, just to judge distance. Okay. Oh, we can see the light. That's the best view when you can see that. Look at this. If I could turn this thing when I get killed, don't look like that's gonna happen. Look at. How'd you make out? How's the pack? Easy. Same. Yeah. To having the gray one on front is that's, the key. That's the way to go. Absolutely. We're on Long Pond. This is going to be where we're staying. There's probably 15 or 16 campsites here. So this is the last pond that we're going to be on. I could have ran that one with this thing. How'd you make out? I'm here, Your panties are all wet. Look at you. It's been raining. You look like a hero. It's been raining. How do you like the pack in the front? Good? Uh, you know, as good as... It it's better dark. than it was. As, as good as a bunch of weight stuck <laughs> in my body can be. <laughs> it is gorgeous outside right now. So this is Long Pond? Long Pond. Oh my gosh, <laughs> almost fell, almost fell. Number nine, is it number nine? Number nine. Oh, I almost fell again, he's Rudy. You to watch where you it's went. It's really Rudy here. Rudy. It's Rudy. Rudy. Jay, you camping by me again? 
Well, I told Tim that's where I was going. Jay loves camping by me. He lives for it. <laughs> I love hearing you like you whimper. Whimper and, and whimper and snore. Going to fill up the water bottles before I put dry shoes on. Because I don't feel like doing it again. It's freezing! It's freezing! What are you doing, bro? You're gonna fix a fire pit because it's terrible? Yeah. You need to do like fire pits 101 video. I know, I feel like that's what people need to see. How to not do that with a fire pit. <laughs> and the other problem is if you don't bring gloves, you ain't gonna do what you're doing right no. now. So that could be a piece of it. Yeah. How's that? Eh, a little better? It's way better. I grabbed a couple handfuls of birch bark. Get the other campsite, threw them in a bag. Do I need a fire steel? No, I said, are you going to use a fire steel? Nah. This is super craft. Got to use Zippos for super craft. Bushcraft? Yeah, I got like a little log cabin thing going. Look at that cabin. Yeah, it's tipping over the already. picture though. of durability. Well, you built it on the spongy pile of the little sticks. Yeah, <laughs> I'm little drying stick. out the poo. Hey, that it's going to tip over though. So Timmy, you haven't been out here real long, a couple days, but do you have a favorite piece of gear? Um, it's okay if you don't, just wondering. Like, do you have anything that you really enjoyed using or you wouldn't want to come out with without it? No. No? Nothing that stuck out to you? No part of this is enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to make Grumpy this, guys back. I'm going to make this entire footage unusable because people will just be bored out of their mind. You'll if just dub it. noises over it. You'll say whatever he wants you to say. Yeah. <laughs> so, Timmy. You haven't been out here real long, a couple days, but do you have a favorite piece of gear? Mm. It's okay if you don't, just wondering. Like, do you have anything that you really enjoyed using or you wouldn't want to come out with without it? Yes! No, nothing that stuck out to you? No part of this is enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> I loved all of my gear. All of my gear was amazing. I loved the whole trip, and I love you guys. I just loved all of my gear. Everything was great. The noise is over it. You'll say whatever he wants you to say. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. Fun. You got on your knee, bro. I don't know. What is that? A fuzz pillar. You, <laughs> your movie. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that looks like it's got poison cane on it. It's full of poison cane. Your pants got three. You got to throw them out. Those pants are ruined. Dude, he's like on there hard too. Jay just flicks it into my face. Is your knee hurt? I can feel him like stinging me through my pants. Is he seriously? Oh my god, I got scared. Dang, it's like you're snoring, snoring, snoring. Stop snoring. <laughs> squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> snoring, snoring, snoring. Snore. Squeak, 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 squeak. Beep and squeak, beep and squeak. <laughs> I wasn't Damn. even sleeping. If you don't like it, then get out of here. <laughs> That's why well, I'm over there. 12.30. It's 12.30. It's later than 11. <laughs> and Yell's upset because she was sleeping and I just came to bed. And she's mad. And I'm happy that she's mad. <laughs> I love sleeping in the rain. Good night.
Cheese and mustard. A meat sandwich? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Tim. What? Good morning. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this is everybody's favorite part of the day. You take these off like this, and then you take your so warm sock off, and you get your, your clean, dry foot out, and you put it in a cold, wet stank shoe. <laughs> That has a lot of sand and grit in it. Yeah, that's exactly what I needed. It's instantly better. Wow, I, my right foot's so much better now. Wow, I feel like I could jump over a mountain. <laughs> oh, you feel ah, now? yeah. And I realized just wet isn't enough. There's got to be grit, <laughs> yeah, sand, and you got to put it like if you just put on clean wet shoes, that's different. Yeah, there has dirty to be grit. Yeah, it has to have to be dirty wet shoes. Lots of grit. Yeah, that time you gotta get happier. <laughs> you gotta get the happy. You gotta look forward to it. That's the best part of today is gonna be putting my feet in these oh, shoes. Oh, it's already getting better. Look what happened. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, it's close. Oh. We're fifty percent of the way there. What'd you do? I have blisters. Why? I don't you know. paddled a canoe. Because <laughs> <laughs> your blisters on your feet from paddling. You're doing it wrong. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so bad. Yay! <laughs> You gotta say it, how good it is, and then it's way better. Yeah, just keep telling yourself it's good until you believe it. How is it? <laughs> how is Cold it? and gritty. Yeah, is it gritty? Yeah. We're done. We're packed up. On our way to the boats. And it's getting slipperier. Pretty awesome. There's a bailout button I'm hitting. <laughs> yeah, the bailout button is just let everything back. Yeah. <laughs> so what if you spin around a few times? You'll get home. He's looking for the little triangle like on his GPS. We're coming up to the last portage. And then we're done. We gotta carry and then we're done. All right, get your keys and get hiking. What's up, homie? Where's What's up, bro? Where'd you drop your stuff at? I'm in the corner of the far corner of the parking lot. Okay, when I when I hit the road, left to the truck. Yeah, right? left. Okay. Uh, and you're just what are you gonna carry back? Well, I was gonna go get the canoe. How long was it? Eight minutes. I don't know how many meters that was. Well, four, well, 400 they said. And it was uphill. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that, that hill was... My that steep hill was legit. Were... Man, this weather, I tell you what, we had amazing weather for this trip. We get rain, and yeah, it rains every time you do anything, but... Man, the leaves, it's, it's cool, it's comfortable. Awesome, awesome trip. I would have liked to stay out for a few more days. Only two nights. You're kind of just getting in the groove. Don't you 